Hello and welcome back for another Quant price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Quant chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, Quant is holding above a key area of support at around the $106.5 mark, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up, where as long as we continue holding above it, there are high chances that we are going to break through our key area of resistance at around the $110.9 mark, get a successful retest and continue gearing up. And you can see that at the time of this recording, we have been trying to break through this key area of resistance though the breakout to the upper side has not been a success and at the time of this recording you can see we are seeing a bit of a rejection but there are chances that you might see a reaction from the prices that we are trading within continue gearing up and continue unlocking higher prices and break through resistance but if by any chance we continue seeing further breakdown then the next key area of support that we need to keep our eyes on is the area at around the $106.5 mark where we can find support and then bounce back to the upper side. Quant has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures. And if I zoom out on the charts to give you my ADO12 analysis, you can see that we have our bear market low for Quant at around the $40.1 mark. And after seeing that bear market low, we saw a five wave structure to the upside having the wave 5 giving us a high at around the $229 mark, completing the formation of these larger ADO12 count 1. And after seeing that high, we started a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of a larger ADO12 count 2, whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this red target area that I came up with by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, giving me a minimum target area between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78, which is an area that we have almost fully maximized and there are high chances that the low for the second wave is in and Quant is now ready for a massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas for the third wave by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the FIBs to the low of the second wave, I get a minimum target area for the wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618, and that is at around the $396.8 mark, and that is the minimum that we can expect that third wave to the upper side to do. And in the formation of that wave 3, because of the impulsive nature in the formation of this wave 3, I'm also expecting Quant to first give us a 5 wave structure on the lower time frames followed by an ABC corrective structure to confirm to us that the low for the second wave is in and the start of an impulse in this wave 3 has now started. So that is what I'm keeping my eyes on here on the quant chart. And once you see such a movement, then that is enough confirmation that the impulsive move in that wave 3 has now started and the low is in. But as long as we continue holding below significant areas of resistances and maybe by any chance we see a massive breakdown here on the charts maybe losing the 100.3 dollar mark which is now acting as support and maybe continue seeing further breakdown then that will be increasing the chances that we might see one more leg down in the formation of that wave two before we can start gearing up in the formation of a larger edu wave count three but for now, since we are holding above significant areas of support, I don't want to have that uh, scenario on the charts for now. But if by any chance we continue seeing further breakdown, then that is still a scenario that we need to have in mind. Also, taking a look at the indicators on the RSI, we are trading at around the 49 mark. Also, taking a look at the MACD, we have been able to print a bearish cross. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you updated.